Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday, and yes, we are finally back with some more World of Warships, and what do you get with three Kerfers working together in a use in a unstoppable force? Uh, so, recently, uh, Jay got his Kerfers, and Brandon, also, I'm also joined with Brandon, has his Kerfers, so we decided to take all three out for the very first time, and oh, this is a very fun battle. So we are playing on Hotspot. Obviously, there are three Kerfers. Uh, North Carolina, Minotaur, Baltimore, Buki, Kutasov, Gearing, Yugamo, Akazuki, and Kiev. On the enemy team, there is a Kerfers, two Yamatos, North Carolina, Zhao, Rune, New Orleans, Shimakaze, two Fletchers, Yugamo, and Lo Yang. And yes, we are going to be working in concert, and this is going to be a very uh, steamroll steamrolling game so we are going to be pushing out east or actually technically west uh technically it is west of a so we're going to push out west of a and we are going to be joined with our teammates uh moving down south we do have a des moines i think he's gonna or sorry baltimore who's going to go do his own little thing and yeah this is something we've been wanting to do for some time uh ever since uh, the German battleships got came out, and we saw the curve first. We're like, yeah, let's all get the curve first. We're all gonna division up. So my curve first, I am actually detected. So there's probably a little destroyer hiding in at A, and it looks like a curve first and a Zao do pop up in range. But unfortunately for us, they are behind the island, so we can't really get a good shot at them. Go ahead and. Uh, bring up my airplane so I can at least spot any torpedoes that may be coming in. Yes, I could have used my hydroacoustics, but I don't think this destroyer is actually going to be pushing that far into A. It looks like he's actually smoking up at the southern tip of A, so that's always good. Now there is the enemy Yamato, and he's opening up on Brandon. Let's see, can we get a good salvo on him? Open up. And Brandon is going to be the one who's going to be taking the most amount of damage. Obviously, he's the very front of the fleet, so he's going to be focused on A. We get a beautiful citadel on that Yamato, which is always superb. Now, the enemy, Kerfers, is actually pushing out east with his friendly Zhao. We do have a lonely New Orleans that, for some odd reason, has decided to push out west. But at least our focus right now is going to be on this Yamato. He's more of a danger to us and to our friendly team than anything else. But it looks like the Yamato actually slowed up quite considerably, but one stray shell goes into a Citadel and we get another Citadel. Very, very nice. Now, Brandon is opening up with his secondaries against the enemy curve first. Like I said, he's gonna be the one that's up front and personal, he's gonna be taking the most amount of damage. We are talking back and forth. Uh, I believe we're actually using our phone, which is, uh, something different because uh, Jay does not have a microphone or at least won't work with his laptop so we're using a phone and we're talking back and forth talking about this slow yang need to watch out for the slow yang um, Zhao would be another danger with torpedoes so essentially what our major threat is going to be is torpedoes we do get hit from the enemy curfers it looks like he is fleeing the battle the Yamato has taken up the position, the normal position, and I get rammed by Jay, which is unfortunate. Scraped a few paint, scraped some paint off the side. The Lo Yang looks like he's actually starting to push forward, which actually, honestly, not a particularly great idea considering we have a, I believe, a gearing. Yeah, we do have a friendly gearing and Brandon's secondaries uh, as well. So Zhao is. Oh, he ran aground. I misjudged my aim. Maybe we can get a lone shell. Uh, we get two. That's not too bad. Over penetration, penetration. Not, not too bad. Zhao's in a terrible position right now. He's just not where. And for some odd reason, my secondaries are actually not opening up on the Zhao. Don't exactly know why. Until right here. Maybe it's the land. And it looks like the gearing actually laid down a smoke screen. So Brandon is going to take full advantage of it. And that means I am actually the focus for the enemy Yamato. Now you can see Brandon has taken quite a considerable amount of damage. He's already lost about 80,000 points of his health. Uh, he's burning quite, quite lively now. 
I do switch my attention over to the New Orleans, uh, essentially because the Yamato is bow in and is not likely to deal much damage, and also the fact that the New Orleans will set me ablaze, which he does. But we do get a Citadel on that New Orleans, which is always very, very nice. Let's see, he does disappear. And I'm just pushing forward, charging. Gary has dropped torpedoes on the Yamato. Not likely he's actually able to dodge those. Probably is going to eat maybe one or two. But I think he's actually probably going to go down here real quick. Yep, Gary taking out the Yamato. I switch my attention back over to the New Orleans. And I've taken a little bit of damage. Nothing too overly concerning. Land another hit on that New Orleans. Able to get away from most of that damage and it looks like we took out the New Orleans very very nice now the Kerfers is not a big big issue he's actually fleeing the battle so I don't think it is wise for us to try to chase down this Kerfers and it does look like we do have some torpedoes incoming uh, Kerfers is kind of big and clunky and unfortunately for me it hits me on the nose and cause immediate flooding which is unfortunate. Now, the gearing is actually pushing out ahead of us. Uh, he should be able to at least assist in uh, figuring out where this destroyer is. I do have my hydroacoustics up, and we land oh, a decent hit on that curve first. Not too bad, but I do decide to turn in because showing broadside to curve first, even though we are very hard to actually get citadeled, would be a very bad idea. Now, I am eating a lot of flood damage right now. Uh, my damage control is not up for another 18 seconds, so I'm just gonna have to eat it, wait it out until it is actually fully back up. Now the gearing has pushed out ahead of us, and our friendly team hasn't done so well at sea. Uh, I believe there's only one battleship left. I believe that's the North Carolina, but he's doing pretty well, all, all considering he has two destroyers on him. Uh, does take out the Yugamo, so very good job good job now in that all that heat of the moment uh finally have the flooding taken care of jay has taken the least amount of damage and we're pretty much talking he should be the one going out forward because we both have taken quite considerable amount of damage though i have taken mostly flood damage and that heal is finally up and ready and i'm able to at least repair uh, open up a sub on that Shimakaze and instantly goes down. No way that he could have actually uh, done much damage. I don't even think he got his torpedoes off. And I'm going to try to turn back in. But fortunately, as you may have noticed, a Cyclone has hit. And that is going to reduce the range by 8 kilometers. At least spotting range by 8 kilometers. So we have lost our North Carolina. And the teams are fairly well even. We are starting to cap B. Um, they've held B for a little while, and they are actually ahead in points at the moment, which is unfortunate. They have captured C as well, but there's still three live Kerfers alive and well. Now, the enemy Kerfers has taken the long way around to get to regroup with his friendly team, and I don't think he's going to be much help. Now, Brandon um turns uh probably to dodge uh enemy shots but i think he's actually gonna run aground and i have the kutazov running into me and i do not start turning until the last moment which means curf curfers boat sex yep this ladies and gentlemen is how you get a baby bismarck when two curfers really love each other they give birth to a Bismarck. So, unfortunately for me, I am uh, stalled until Brandon has fully backed up and is able to maneuver away. Now, he, our second heal is up. Uh, Rune, I think, is just blinding fire just randomly into that area and does land a couple hits on us, which is unfortunate. So... Heal is up. That means I'm able to repair more of that flood damage, which is always very, very nice. Because, uh, yeah, taking flood damage is 100% healable, but obviously it is the most damning thing you can see. Now, we have taken or received about 69,000 points of health back, and we still have two more heals available to us. 
Now, we are being a little cautious. The enemy Fletcher, I believe, just went down. Not, well, not just went down, but went down. So that's one destroyer we don't have to worry about. And we have two destroyers of our own. We have a gearing. I think Akazuki is still around. Gearing has dropped torps. And we know at least a couple locations of the ships. We know the Kerfurst is over there, and that must mean that's the North Carolina. North Carolina is spotted by the friendly Kutuzov, and Kutuzov has open fire. And the Kutuzov is not a particularly armored ship, but fortunately it does negate any citadels coming in from that North Carolina. Just waiting for the moment that this North Carolina does pop in viewing range. And any moment now, he should just pop up. There he is. Bowen, not a per perfect shot, but he is only one ship versus five ships. Not likely he's actually going to be able to deal much damage. And three car first firing at a North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> one dead North Carolina. We get a Citadel and take him out. And our heal is actually back up, so we're able to get more back now all that's left on the enemy team is the yamato kurt kerfurst and i believe the rune the rune at least was last seen up in b it looks like he's finally spotted and we have our akazuki pushing in and akutazov is opening up on the rune fortunately i cannot see him now i'm gonna leave the kerfurst for my friends because i'm actually pushing north and I am detected, and there's the rune, but he disappears. But, oh, there's the Yamato. Hmm. Yamato has not seen, or probably has is aware that I'm around. And there he is, showing us a big, beautiful broadside. Can you guess what's about to happen? Citadel. Secondaries are opening up, trying to get the big ass of the ship around so I can get my back guns. He's not focused on us at all. He's burning. And good night, sweet prince. Hi, Caliber. One dead Yamato and devastating strike. Yeah, I, I, I have to say this was a pretty good game. Pretty good game. And the Akazuki is actually very surprised that he's alive. That's uh, hilarious. Uh, now the rune has shown back up. And next salvo is up and ready. Can we take out this rune? We've got confederate. Back guns are ready. Can we get another kill? That would be fantastic. I, I think yes. <laughs> there we go. Take out the enemy rune. All that's left on the enemy team is the Kerr first. And he is pushing into the uh, sea cap. But look who's going to join him. The friendly gearing. And can you guess what's about to happen to this curve first? Now, I'm I'm hungry for blood. I want my Kraken unleashed. But I don't think it's going to be. Uh, gearing is being hammered away. I believe he actually has Hydrocoustics up and available. And is actually going to take out this enemy curve first. Any moment now. His torpedoes are away. Can he take out that curve first? The torpedoes are looking pretty nice. And there he is. He's finally spotted. But I think those torpedoes are looking pretty nice. And I think this gearing is going to take out this curve first, which is unfortunate. All right, everyone. Welcome back to kind of a funny moment. So I am in the tier 8 Ognivoy. I am teamed up uh, with Jay and his Benson. And I just go down to a Baltimore. We were dealing with a Baltimore and Des Moines and Haberdash. So, yeah, not particularly a fun time. But this is actually a rather amusing moment. So Jay is fleeing away, but he runs aground. And any moment now, yep, this happens. Oh, God, that was... <laughs> I just love seeing that. That was hilarious. All right. So this is going to be it for this fun, uh, episode of Fun Day Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.